Hey guys, uh, doing uh, just a little bit of an initial talk with you guys. I wanted to sit down for this because I'm kind of, kind of, kind of come off of the, the cuff with this. So talking with you about how. Oh, that's great. <laughs> First of all, I want to again say thank you to everyone who came along and helped me out and watched these videos and these episodes with me. It was really fun to re-engage with this fandom and to go back on this nostalgia trip. And for everyone who commented and followed along and liked the videos, thank you all. Very much appreciate that. So now I'm going into season six. I have actually tried to rewatch this season on two different occasions. One time, uh, kind of initially after having watched it, and then a second time, I think just before I moved out, so that's 2014. So that was the last time I ever tried to watch this season. I got halfway through-ish about both times, and that was it. I never got any further than that. So that's the initial battle I've got, is I have this prejudice essentially towards this season because it's just anything that follows after five I just don't get and there's a bit of a history with six for me particularly I was um, in an area uh, in one of the island areas off of Seattle the coast of Seattle called the uh, Olympic Peninsula it's where they actually based and filmed the first Twilight movie I even think the latter ones as well but it's a very boring area <laughs> In my opinion, if you're if you're retired, it seems to be the thing for you. But this area is where I had to watch the first episode, and the audio sync was off for the first 15 minutes, and that was annoying me to the point where I actually spent long distance money calling Czech TV. That's the the thing in uh, Victoria that the broadcasting network that was uh, that was showing it because CTV dropped it for some reason. And I called them and said, hey, how the hell are you guys making this mistake already? Like, you just got this show. Like, what is wrong with you? So that initial issue is going to be, like, I'm going to feel those feelings when watching the first episode. But in terms of the actual season itself, how do I feel? I like the idea of Sam's uh, in his inhumanity, the idea of him not having a soul. I thought that was cool, but it did kind of conflict with me because I had those thoughts about Dean not having a soul back in season five with My Bloody Valentine, but I do understand that I have to bury that hatchet. I do have to acknowledge that that's not how it was. It was not like that. There really isn't kind of an explanation for why Dean is the way he is. He's more so he's just so broken that nothing can affect him at that point. So seeing Sam be soulless, I know it's very funny. It's the funniest Sam will ever get. And then also the inner conflict in his mind of trying to put his soul back in and the ramifications of it. And I know that Kripke wrote the last episode of this season. I think it's called The Man Who Knew Too Much. I remember that being like, oh, and I actually like how it ends because the mother of all is just going to end like i think like three episodes for, before the finale or something like that i remember being very surprised by that because aren't the jefferson starships in this i think i think the jefferson starship monsters are in this season and season seven has the leviathans which evil castiel i always thought was really bad yeah i don't know misha collins couldn't do a good villain he, he came off as corny and the entire the best episode of season seven is the one where bobby dies and where they go into that reality where they're actors. If it is in season seven, I believe it is. Also, there's going to be Balthazar, who I don't know if anyone remembers this guy. I don't even remember how he dies, but I know he dies. And I miss that guy. I actually liked him because he was kind of the replacement for Loki, kind of. And then season eight has Purgatory, where that's where Dean goes after the end of season seven. And I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot of what happens in Season 8. Uh, season 9, we're going to have the Angels, after the Angels fall at the end of Season 8. Is Season 8 the, per is season eight the Gates of Hell? Because I know Crowley's going to become a villain. Season 9, Metatron and Dean's going to die at the end of Season 9, and then the proper way. And then Season 10, I remember not enjoying Season 10 that much because of the whole Demon Dean thing being solved very quickly. But... I've got a lot of negatives, obviously, right off the bat. Um, there are some good episodes in here. I do remember a couple. I am going to try... I, I can't remember which one, but there is one where they had to be drunk to take down a Japanese ghost. I thought that episode was funny. There are some 
I know in season eight there is going to be an episode that turns me around. That that turned me around when I was watching the show. I was this close to quitting. But there was an episode where Castiel is contracted, well, brainwashed by Naomi, who, by the way, never came back. That storyline was never answered. I know uh, she sends Castiel to go and beat the shit out of Dean and almost kills him. And there is a big contentious moment with that. And I remember that being a very pivotal moment in the show for me. That turned the show around for me. Even though I did slightly falter in season 10 again, I feel that that really brought it back for me. Season 9, I think, is the se- season 9 and season 8 are the seasons that were the hardest for me to watch because while season 8 did turn the show around for me, I was barely crawling. I was barely hanging on. I was hanging on by my pinky my pinky fingers at that point in terms of my fandom so i I guess we'll see i'm kind of curious in terms of where i'm going to come up to like what i'm going to remember what i'm going to re-remember what i'm going to re-experience uh something i would like for you guys to do i'm not going to comment further on it but if you guys want give me your favorite episodes i'll say not not a lot of them i don't i don't want to list because there's no way i'm going to remember them but maybe give me your top two favorite episodes from each season, uh, from season five to season 10. And I'll keep those in the back of my mind when going through these seasons. Because it would be interesting to see what if you guys uh, have any kind of thoughts on what you are. Um, don't give me paragraphs, please. Uh, but I am interested to see. Because I know you guys, certainly the ones who have been following me in the last little while, you guys have much more knowledge of these seasons than I do because I, I, as I said, I've only ever watched this, these seasons once. The seasons one to five I have watched on many, 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 many occasions, but everything afterwards has only been a one-time experience for me. So yeah, give me your guys' thoughts on like, yeah, your two favorite episodes from each season and like a sentence as to why you like that episode. Don't reveal everything for me, um, kind of give me a little bit of mystery in terms of them, because like I said, I do want to be surprised. I do want to rediscover this. So if you could, please don't spoil it. Just try and give a kind of a synopsis of it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, um, I say I'm going to start in January, but that might be a little bit of a, of a speculation. Uh, depends on how my show is going to go. I think the first month of my show is going to be quite a difficult one. So that might delay me because I don't... Once I start, I can't stop, right? I Once I've started the train, I don't want to stop because I like having a consistent thing. So what I'm going to do is once I know I have a good base. Essentially, I think I started... Se- when I started season 5 in terms of putting out reviews, I had already reviewed about 16 episodes. Watched and reviewed them. Not edited them, but just done this, talking to the camera here. So I want to do that first before I get into season 6. Especially season 8, 9, and 10. Because those bastards have... um, Those have 23 episodes each. So including the best and worst, top 5, like a season review, all that. It's going to be... There's going to be a lot with those seasons. But anyways, yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on where I'm at in terms of coming at it. Um, I'm hoping, I think there's just too much happening right now in terms of before the Christmas season, but I do hope to try and start watching these just after Christmas happens. At the same time, I am also going to be watching as many of the big name award movies that are coming out to try and keep myself in flux and have a good list for the best of 2021. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you again, as I said, for participating, watching, commenting, everything that you've done with my videos over the last few years. And I'm hoping that you'll continue along with me and we have a lot of fun with this. So until then, I'll see you guys hopefully in January or February with the season six reviews beginning. And until then, y'all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, here's to 2022.